And as they see me calling to make appointments to, to tour new tenants through, they sort of wake up and say, oh, God, you know, we want to stay. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, we need to get our act together. or We need to get our it. act together. Either we, we got to tell the landlord that we're staying or else they're going to have a new lease signed and we're going to get kicked out. Right. Interesting. So, you know, and then on the smaller properties, like also in, in Norfolk, uh, we have a lot of smaller tenants who might be 3,000 feet, 5,000 feet, 10,000 feet. Uh, in Atlanta, I, I bought a property in the middle of COVID. I bought it from TPG. I, I have anywhere from 3,000 feet to 40,000 feet. All right, the 40,000 square foot tenant we was a trade school that we inherited. We found out in February that they're moved, they're not renewing their leases. They're closing uh, as of December 31st of this year. We already have a third of it leased uh, on a really stupid rent because it's a shorter term lease. And I have the, one of the tenants next door who wants to expand. And then I'll be left with you know a, a small space. Uh, so it's, it's about giving yourself enough runway. You know, it's not like a multifamily where you send out the renewal 90 days in advance and you sort of know. Uh, and even then sometimes tenants don't exercise until the 11th hour or tell you they're leaving. So, but there, because there's so many apartments, assuming it's a larger complex, you, you know, you're okay for 90, 120 days to find another tenant. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned something earlier about <clears throat> finding deals with, and it, it translated in my mind of uh, value add opportunities and in industrial. 